Photoshop's new Harmonize tool. It's just magic for family photos. Now I've seen uh, videos out there from the four horsemen of Photoshop, as I like to call them. Aaron Nace from Flern, uh, Inmesh Dinda from Pix and Perfect, Colin Smith from Photoshop Cafe, and the man Jesus Ramirez from the Photoshop Training Channel. Now, they're just simply the best when it comes to showing you how to do composites with new tools and things. But what I like to concentrate on is your selfies, your family photos, or photos taken with an iPhone or whatever, and adding and harmonizing people that either were in the picture or weren't in the picture, or you get the idea. Now I got three examples for you. One is an extreme example of a nighttime shot where two buddies are there and they want their third buddy in the shot, but he's in a completely different picture. Uh, another example is a family photo, except mom wasn't in the picture. She was off having a beer somewhere. And I got a simple one to start off with where there are three brothers in a picture during the daytime and the sister was taken uh, in pretty much the same position but at a different time of day. We'll see if we can match them up with the Harmonize uh, tool here. To make this happen, I'm using the Harmonize tool in your contextual taskbar in the Photoshop beta. Now, at the moment, it's uh, 2610 as of uh, August of 2025. If you don't have the Photoshop beta, check out this video right here. You'll get it real quick and start being able to use it. Now, the new Harmonize tool is powered by Adobe's Firefly AI, and it checks out everything of the background image, the color, the tone, the lighting, you know, everything that's going on, and applies it to whatever subject you put in there. Now, I'm not sure if it's the same thing, but it seems like Harmonize has been around for a few years, but it was a neural filter, and I always had uh, of bad results with it, but this new one here that we got going in your contextual taskbar just kicks butt. Here's photo number one. Okay, as you can see in this picture here, we got the boys and they're hanging around the Rockford sign, wherever that is, and it's a certain time of day and the sister is not in the picture and that's what they'd like. We'd like to grab sister and put her in there as well. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go to the folder here where I got the sister picture and we'll drag her in there. Now what I'll do is I'll reduce the opacity to 50% and I'll kind of line up the Rockford sign to make it approximately about the same size. Uh, good enough there. So let's hit done. Put the opacity back up. Now, as you can see here by the sky, we got a different time of day of when the picture was taken for the sister. Now, I'll zoom in a bit here. First thing I want to do is remove the background on the picture for her. So let's hit remove background. And this always works just so good lately. And there she is. And she's in there. But you can tell that the boys here, it's at a different time of day. Skin tones are a little bit different. So what we'll do is now we'll go up to here in your contextual taskbar and hit the harmonize button. First, let's make sure we choose the girl pick and hit harmonize. Now it's going to do its thing. And we get three options that we can choose from. It's brilliant. Now, here we go. Let's go through all three. Number one, number two, and number three. And the skin tones are pretty much in the game, but the thing I like is the shadows and things that it's created for this. There's one, there's two, and there's three. I like number two because it's created a shadow both for her and on her brother's leg and stuff. It's between one or two. No, I'm digging two, so let's go with that. Zoom out. Now, let's make it a stamp visible layer, and we'll see what it's like before, after. Brilliant. You can't tell the difference here. You can't see the, oh, that's fake. No, that looks really good. And the family's happy because they got that pick done. Now, in photo number two, we've got an extreme example here to see what the harmonize can do. We got buddies here in the nighttime parting it up and you can see that they're pretending to put his arm around the third guy that never made it into the shot so let's grab him 
and throw them in here. Now, as you can tell, completely different. Everything's completely different. This is daytime, the other one's nighttime. So what we'll do is we'll leave them pretty much like that. Done, we'll remove the background again, and it's gone. Right away, you say to yourself, oh man, that's the worst. So first, let's go over here and we'll transform him. First, we'll kind of move him around because so like he's standing. And then we'll kind of move him into position. Make sure it's one good thing to do, you can tell, is make sure his head is roughly the same size as the other guys. And, you know, you got roughly... The proper size. So now he's in there and he's standing proudly with the other boys. And what looks like an impossible job that could take a lot of time would be to match all the colors and everything. Well, let's try the harmonize button and see what it does. Remember, it gives us three options. So let's check them out. And bam, check it out. It's completely changed it. There's option one, option two, and option three, so I'm liking three isn't too bad. Number one, it's added shadows where they would be if the light was coming from this direction on his buddy here. It's not bad, that's not bad, but I'm gonna stick with number one here. Okay, now that we got buddy in there looking like his other buddies there with skin tone and everything, let's make it a little more real. Let's turn off the harmonized layer. And we'll go to our object selection tool. Make sure a lasso is chosen. Let's grab his hand here. There's the hand. Let's turn it back on. Now, click the layer mask of the harmonized layer. Get a brush. Make the flow about, oh, I don't know, 15%. And just paint the inside of the hand. Control D to deselect. And now he's got his hand around his buddy. Okay, for this third and final option here, we got a great family picture here. Everybody's in there, except where's mom? Mom's gone here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make room for mom. So let's hit the C key for crop, and let's put her over here and just make enough room for her. And let's complete dad's arm and his shoe. Let's do the whole thing today, besides the harmonization. So now what we do, make sure it says Generative Expand, and just hit Generate. Let's see what it does. It'll give us three options. Now, there's option number one. That looks really cool. I like that. Let's see what it's done. It's finished Dad's foot here and his arm. A little bright over here. Number two, same kind of thing. It's a bit bright over there. There. Number three, I like that. What we can do is hit Generate again. Or, if you've noticed, here's Firefly image 3 or 1. You can do either or to get the different results for yourself. What I'll do is I'll go to here to the number 3, and I'll hit Generate Similar. Let's see what comes up. Okay, there's the first one, second one, and the third one. I'm liking the first one here. So what we can do to save file size, choose the one you want, and trash the others. That'll save you some file size. Now, let's make a stamp visible layer. And now let's grab the pick of mom. What I'll do is I'll reduce the opacity to about 50%. And we'll kind of put mom over here. Now, the problem I'm seeing with this is that mom's kind of looking in a different direction. So while we have this open, right click, flip horizontal, and move mom over. All right, make the opacity 100% again, done. Now, the first thing we want to do, though, is remove the background. So let's hit remove background. Bam, it's gone. But you can see that mom's in a different kind of uh, lighting space and everything is than everybody else. So this is the cool part. Let's see what Harmonize does. We're on the mom layer and Harmonize. Let's see what our three options are. Very cool. We've got some lighting going on here. We even have a shadow from her, but I'm not liking that one too much. Again, a nice shadow. Not bad, not bad. And there's a good shadow and a little bit of light on her that matches what's going on. So other than the three, 
I'll pick up number three because it's got some good lighting here. Great shadow of mom. Everything was going on. She's now part of the group. And we do before, after. Before, after. It looks like mom was in the shot the whole time. Photo number three turned out great. So there we have it. Wow. Is this Harmonize is truly a game changer or is this just a gimmick? No, I think it's magic. It's unbelievable what it will do. And this is only in the beta. Wait till it even gets better and better. Whether you're a professional or a person at home that wants to fix their selfies, their family photos, this does great. Of course, with these three examples, we could have done more and more and more to get it more lifelike, but it sure is damn close without doing a lot of work. And that saves you so much work trying to match tone and lighting color and everything brilliant i just love it so what do you guys think are you blown away by this ai or is this just a gimmick let me know in the comments what you think of the new harmonize tool and if you've used it let me know if any of my tutorials are helping you leave me a comment below like and subscribe i'm don from photo 911 see ya